Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I thought it would be really fun to show you my entire process of creating my travel capsule wardrobe for a trip to Nashville. I think this will be really useful for you guys because not only will it give you some ideas for your next travel capsule, it's also kind of a microcosm of the entire capsule wardrobe curation process. So you can take these exact steps and apply them when you create your next day-to-day -day capsule wardrobe as well. And before we get started, if you get to the end of this video and you've watched all of my other videos and you're still overwhelmed by the idea of curating your capsule wardrobe, booking a capsule wardrobe consultation with me is a great place to start. It includes a one-on-one -on -one style talk with me, color and styling recommendations, and curated capsule wardrobe recommendations to get you going in the right direction for your lifestyle and goals. And I'll be doing a giveaway of this capsule curation service once we hit 1,000 subscribers here. So if you're new here, please subscribe and get us closer to that giveaway. All right, let's start planning. The first thing that I ask myself anytime I'm putting together a wardrobe is what are my personal and style goals for this trip or season? My main goal for this capsule is to create a few new looks that fully represent my style. I also want to focus on completing the looks with the right accessories so that they have the right amount of visual interest and they don't look too basic. Next, I put together a calendar of all of the activities that I have planned for the trip or the season ahead. This helps me figure out how many outfits I'll need for each activity. For our Nashville trip, we're taking our dog Basil with us, and so we're taking two days on either end of the trip to drive down. On the first leg of the trip, we plan to stay in a rural area with a farm nearby, so I think it'd be fun for us to go on a little nature walk after being in the car all day. The next day, we'll arrive in Nashville, so I think we'll want to change and go out for dinner and drinks once we get there. Over the weekend, I'll be attending a bridal shower and a wedding, so I'm going to need specific outfits for those events as well. Now, I'll fill out the rest of the calendar with other activities that I think we might be doing, like going for coffee, grabbing meals, or sightseeing. If you've ever been to Nashville, what was your favorite part of the trip? I'd love to hear some of your suggestions. So based on my calendar, I'll need four travel outfits, four daytime activity outfits, five dinner or drinks outfits, two concert or bar outfits, one bridal shower guest outfit, and one wedding guest outfit. So now that I know how many outfits I'll need for each activity, I'll start building the capsule with items that I already own. I keep a folder on my computer full of images of everything in my wardrobe so that I can easily drag and drop them into a keynote like this. I highly recommend doing this for your own wardrobe if you can. Every time you buy something new, take a screenshot and save it to your own wardrobe folder. This will make planning your future capsule wardrobes so much easier. So for the Nashville capsule, I've pulled together a bunch of band tees, some tank tops, a couple of button-down shirts, and a couple of knit tops with interesting necklines. I've also added some jeans, a pair of wide-leg culottes, and two pairs of denim shorts, plus three dresses, one leather jacket, and a few pairs of sneakers and low-heeled sandals. I thought about adding some Western-style ankle boots, but I think the weather will be a little bit too hot for the ones that I own, and these won't do very well in the rain either. I also added two bags, my Chanel Classic flat bag and this Cult Gaia Arc bag that I love for summer and I always get so many compliments on. And let's throw in a pair of sunglasses too. So this is a really good start, but I can already see some gaps right off the bat. First of all, I only have two pairs of shorts and they're both denim cutoffs. Since it's going to be pretty hot during the daytime, I'm going to need to add a few more pairs of shorts so that I don't just end up wearing the same ones every day. I also need to add another pair of shoes that will be comfortable to walk in during the day. We're going to be walking a lot and I need to be able to give each pair of shoes at least a day's rest in between wears so that they don't wear out too quickly. If you want to extend the life of your shoes, it's important to have at least two pairs that you can rotate between so that you can give each pair at least a day's rest in between wears. This will give the shoe time to relax back into its intended shape and keep them looking new and fresh as long as possible. On the topic of shoes, I might also want to add a weatherproof boot for rainy days and maybe for that nature walk. I also only have one jacket selected. I should probably either choose a couple more jackets from my existing wardrobe or add a new one so that I have a few more options. 
I've also been on the lookout for the perfect denim jacket, so we'll see if maybe I can find one. Before we go shopping for anything new, let's gather some inspiration. This will help paint a visual picture of what this capsule wardrobe could look like. I'm gonna head over to Pinterest and create a board where we can dump a bunch of pictures. As I've been thinking about this trip, I've come up with a few trends or themes that I want to include. The first theme is monochrome. As you might have noticed, I have a lot of monochromatic outfit options in black and gray, but I want to start adding more monochromatic outfits in other colors. I've also noticed this trend of wearing boxer style shorts with a matching oversized shirt, which I think looks really cool and chic. It definitely meshes well with my personal style and looks like it would be a really comfortable daytime vacation outfit. And since we're going to be walking around a lot, this trip would also be a good time to add in some athleisure elements. I've been eyeing the Prada Clio bag ever since I included it in my spring-summer outfit formulas video, and I think it really amps up the athleisure vibe and takes casual outfits to the next level. I also included some Nashville-specific outfits in my Pinterest board just to kind of give me that visual inspiration of what a Nashville outfit might look like. Now, I don't think I'm going to be changing my personal style to match this Nashville aesthetic, but I do find that it just brings a little bit of inspiration. It's something different, and maybe it'll spark some ideas when I'm putting together my outfits. Now that we've collected some inspiration and have a better idea of the creative direction for this capsule, let's go shopping. My inspiration for a lot of the looks that I want to create is really this Prada Clio bag. I got really lucky and I was able to find one secondhand on Vessier Collective at a really great price. I think the pre-loved market is really the best place to look for handbags. In fact, all of the bags in this capsule were purchased secondhand. Moving on to some clothing items, I think we can kill two birds with one stone when it comes to this boxer short trend and my goal of creating more monochrome outfits. I think it would be cool to get a pair of blue striped shorts and an oversized shirt with a slightly different stripe to create a monochrome look with some subtle print mixing. I started by searching the Frankie shop but wasn't able to find anything I liked in stock. I found these blue striped shorts instead, which I really like. I'm really inspired by this massively oversized shirt from the Frankie shop, but I feel like it's risky because it's just so huge and it's also pretty expensive. I landed on this one from Alex Mill instead. I've never tried this brand, but I like how the color is very similar to the shorts, but the stripe is a slightly different scale, which I think will look really cool together. I also added a couple of one-shoulder tanks from Everlane, which are a nice basic with a twist. They look a little fancier than a traditional racerback tank, and they can be styled with athleisure looks or more classic looks. And finally, I added a pair of lug sole boots to wear in rainy weather. These kind of chunky, big soled boots have been a trend for a while now, but I don't think that they're going anywhere anytime soon. They have a really practical aspect to them, which makes them more of a classic than they might seem. And there are so many options out there right now, so if you're looking to add a pair to your wardrobe, I'll link a bunch of really great options in the description box below. As I mentioned earlier, I needed 18 total outfits for this trip. Also, keep in mind that I might not be able to wash any of these items while I'm away, so I want to make sure that I'm not repeating items more than two or three times at most. Here are the final outfits. and I hope you find this process useful for creating your next capsule wardrobe. As always, I'll leave links to all of the items and some affordable alternatives in the description box below. And if you'd like to see the full final capsule along with all of the outfit combinations, I'll leave a link to my blog as well. And stay tuned on Instagram and YouTube so that you can see how these outfits pan out. A lot of times when I create a capsule, I will buy a few things and, you know, some work out and some don't. Uh, so I think I'm going to try to share all of the results on either my Instagram or here on YouTube so that you guys can see the real time process of how this works and how not everything always works out perfectly. If you genuinely like this video or found it useful, 
Please give it a like and subscribe for more personal style and capsule wardrobe videos. See you in the next one. Thank you.